folks and welcome back to the Wilder side. I'm Alara Wilder and today's, well for today's contribution, for you I have a walkthrough or a showcase of a Sims 4 build. Not a speed build because this thing took me for effing ever. Oh my gosh. Um, this is my entry into the Sparked Challenge. Uh, destination wedding and the destination that I've chosen is I guess you could call it jungle or beach um, I have chosen to recreate a traditional Balinese style temple that has been modernized and renovated to become a wedding venue uh, we're gonna it's gonna be utilizing the traditional chapel and some of the more traditional features and over there on his own getting more and more unhappy you can see how derby sim I don't know what's up with him I think he's broken um, he might need a holiday and this is probably not it because he is based on a real-life person and let me tell you that real-life person would be depressed if he was in a wedding venue okay so to my derby sim and my derby person I apologize all right let's get on with the tour first off we're gonna go down a little bit to about a sims eye view and we're gonna walk across this bridge but we're gonna stop in the middle and we're gonna check out it actually goes over a little river and we'll go and check out what that is over there in a minute um, this is actually a swimming pool now your sims may or may not choose to swim in it there is no ladders however but whatever um, and honestly I think he's just depressed he's just depressed in general all right so this is set up as a commercial lot and it is set as a restaurant and here we are We've walked over the footbridge and we are now walking into the temple with the beautiful fountain backdrop um, in for those of you who have not been to Bali Balinese temples tend to be completely uncluttered on the inside they will have white tiles on the um, floor and the occasional woven um, bamboo leaf rug but that is it so I've tried to stick kind of with that theme by keeping the interior as uncluttered um, as possible while still providing oh and good timing still providing room for or catering for a large wedding party and as you can see uh, it is simply lit by candles and a single chandelier uh, traditionally it would be lit with torches some sort of torches uh, Bali does have electricity uh, have no fear there however um, in the more traditional venues uh, they wouldn't be used actually in the the temples themselves this is potentially another entrance slash exit and again it is another footbridge across a pool and I'd like to do a shout out to Kate Emerald who has an excellent tutorial on how to um, do bridges over uh, pools and we've got a little bit of bubbling a little bit of steam there because there are natural steam vents in Bali there is a volcano uh, and you can and I have climbed to the very top of it and seen the hot springs and had breakfast uh, of well, boiled eggs anyway cooked in the water at the top of the volcano so here we are that's the bridge we came in over this is where our wedding feast or our wedding breakfast or our wedding dinner whatever you would call it would normally take place the couple that are currently sitting in what would be the air quotes bride and groom's table are not <laughs> they've not got married here this is not um, you know these are just visitors and this chappy here in the Hawaiian shirt is one of the waiters and I have chosen for the waiters this beautiful tropical um, 
shirt or Hawaiian style shirt or you know some sort of floral print shirt both the men and the women wear it um, in Bali the the restaurants they um, the the waiters and waitresses they don't tend to stick to the what we what I would think would be the normal black and white um, style of dressing they often have a costume or a uniform and to that end our hostess over here is dressed in a sari now Balinese uh, traditional women's dress for Bali and if I can remember I will insert a picture here um, they wear a sarong and this beautiful um, lace blouse with um, a, a sash around the middle which can be the same material as the sarong or different um, and uh, but this is the closest I could get so um, that's what we've got we've got the um, sarong okay or the sari I should say sorry as you can see the gardens are beautifully and lush and this is another entrance or exit and tucked away behind here is um, the staff scooters now when you if you stay at a hotel or go to a restaurant you'll find a little corner tucked away the family car in Bali is a scooter um, I have seen a family of five ride a scooter um, you know on their way to temple dad was driving mum in her beautiful traditional dress was sat side saddle on the back there was a child standing in front of dad here we are in the kitchen with our chef um, frantically cooking something for somebody um, and again with the traditional or ubiquitous more than traditional white tile that you will see everywhere if you head to um, Bali itself um, and you know a child standing in front of dad another child sitting um, behind mum and on one occasion I saw a baby asleep across dad's lap and the ladies sitting on the back of the um, the bikes the scooters this is uh, one of the toilets as you can see by the door when we go back out they are not gendered because I'm all for gender equality and how ridiculous how ridiculous to segregate in uh, supposedly these enlightened times um, so yes the baby was asleep across um, dad's lap mum the, the lady was not even holding on she had one hand folded neatly in her lap and the other hand was reaching around dad to hold the baby's head as it slept so that it didn't tumble off so here you can see a tiny little dance floor underneath a um, thatched roof which is quite common in Bali and a little DJ booth there uh, in Bali they tend to make things out of whatever they can find so this kind of felt like something that was cobbled together from pipes and maybe bits of lattice and things like that that particular DJ booth um, and you know table for the cake and we've still got that beautiful view out to the ocean and then if we travel back over the footbridge and head down to the right here we will try and control our keys and we will have a look now just as we go past this statue in Bali the Balinese tend to have a very cheeky sense of humor they were always laughing they were always smiling they are making jokes mostly um, at their own expense but they're happily they will happily make it at your expense as well so their intent is not to cause offense but part of their culture is to um, as a good host or hostess is to make sure that their guests are always smiling and laughing and here is a statue that is reminiscent of a chap perhaps sitting on the beach waiting for you know the surf to come up and an appropriately placed spray sprinkler or um, fountain and you would see that a lot in Bali that sort of sense of humor reflected
So one of our waiters again. This is what we would call the honeymoon suite. It is typical of a hotel room or perhaps a suite room that you would find in Bali with a bed, a some sort of uh, seating area. You would absolutely have a television and there would be storage. You would have a cupboard or something like that. Uh, and you, in, in some of the, the higher class um, suites or the higher priced ones, I guess, uh, you would also have a little um, area where there might be a coffee or tea machine and a little, there's always fridges in the hotel rooms um, and there might be a microwave. And here we would find our lush bathroom, double sink, a spa bath, a double headed shower with all of the aromatherapy oils and things that you might need to really pamper yourself. A little toilet tucked away here and another sink and more storage for towels and things. Everywhere you will find plants. If there's a square um, centimetre or inch of ground, they will plant a plant in it. Um, not necessarily a food plant, but it is so lush and so tropical that plants grow beautifully there. And here we have a little private patio area with some lounges, a hot tub and a little plunge pool. And if we go over the edge of here, you can uh, try and control this. You can see that there are plants growing up the outside, but of course the way this functions, um, you know, you can't really see them from the inside. So I would love to hear from you if you have downloaded this to use for your own gameplay or storytelling. Um, we're going to follow the river around a little bit. Um, I'm sure you recognize that there is a whole bunch of debug items in here that you might not find in the normal build and buy catalog. This is a beautiful place. If I was in the market for getting married, I would, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, uh, voice breaking, I would love to get married somewhere like this. Um, but of course that is behind me, but I would love to hear from you if you've gotten married, um, where you chose to get married. Did you have a destination wedding? If so, where? Um, you know, ours was just local. Um, now, unfortunately, with the way that the Sim, Sims build works, you cannot see the um, traditional Balinese style roof that is on this temple. So, um, the screenshots are just about to come up and um, I will be able to show you both at night time and in the daylight exactly how um, we have roofed this entire place. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of information about Bali. I have been there 15. I'm not exaggerating. I could show you my passport. Um, I have been there 15 times. I love it. I would live there. I love the people. I love the culture. I love the climate. I love the food. Um, and um, I have loved being able to build this so that I can share it uh, with everybody else and tell you about how much I love Bali. So um, enjoy the screenshots. And here's our little footbridge that we entered over, which I think is really cute. There's two of them. Here's our um, wedding feast area. Looks beautiful with those lights in the trees. And here's our hostess waiting just for your sim to come and have dinner and a little quick shot of the toilets peeking out from behind the greenery. We've got a couple of shots of the kitchen so that you can see how the space is set up. It's meant to look a little cluttered but still workable. And this is the back side of the kitchen showing you the roof detail, our little door into our wedding chapel. And here's the wedding chapel in the daytime and next shot is at night time so you can see it's pretty well lit up but it is meant to be darker at night time and this is the roof of the chapel stretching into the sky that multi-layer now we're off to the wedding or honeymoon suite 
this is the bedroom and seating area it's got this lovely little couch area and into that super super luxurious bathroom with the spa bath and the little toilet tucked around the corner um, and the amazing shower like I could spend all day in that shower I don't know about you um, and outside we have a beautiful little seating area and a hot tub and the plunge pool and this is just a view across the pond showing you the bride and groom seating and the actual layout of the pool um, showing the pond and the actual layout of the um, buildings themselves I hope you liked it.